welcome to the show, Road to Dakar, the countdown. We'll be talking today to some very interesting guests on our show. Joining us are Audi board member for technical development, Oliver Hoffman. Julius Seebach, managing director of Audi Sport. Sven Quant, CEO and team principal of Q Motorsport. Famed racer and Jim Carner legend, Ken Block. Audi Quattro rally legend, Michel Mouton. And the complete Audi Dakar driver lineup of the Audi RS Q e-tron. Stefan Peter Hansel, Carlos Sainz and Matthias Ekström. We wanted our entry into the Dakar to be completely Audi-like. Audi has always done things in motorsport that no one really dared to do before. This car is insane. Our goal is to win with our innovative concept. An electric powertrain combined with a TFSI engine that charges our battery while racing. Testing new technologies on the track or in a rally is in our DNA. It's how we live Vorsprung durch Technik. Audi's history and heritage in rally is really what brought me into actually knowing about rally's existence and influenced me into eventually becoming a rally driver. For me, it's not just a partnership, it's a dream that has become reality. We just unveiled our first Gymkhana prototype and my first ever fully electric Gymkhana car. I myself was part of the Audi team and witnessed live what we achieved with the Audi Quattro in the World Rally Championship back then. And I believe that Audi will succeed again in taking a great step into the future of motorsport with the Audi RSQ e-tron rally car. This car was built in just one year. That's a very short uh, period of time to develop, build and test a rally car. And the high complexity of the car requires constant adaptation and flexibility. As it is something completely new for all of us, we don't know what to expect yet, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm very positive. We know more by the end of January. The car is ready to race in time for the Dakar. This is an achievement that was only possible with a team that perfectly worked in sync. When I heard about this project, I said, no, I need to see what will be the future. 